Hello everyone, it's Luke here from Eurisco Studios again. Um, wanted to show you something in uh, Chain Move. I've got the same setup that I had before with just the regular polygon path chain. Uh, and what I've done this time though is uh, I've uh, applied some dynamics, some cloth effects to this chain. I've done the standard thing where I've got a bunch of points, the points over at this end are fixed, the points over at this end are fixed, so this this middle bit here should sag a little. Let's just calculate and see what happens. I've also got a dynamic object here, which is pushing it about, just to see what it would do. Okay. So that's not too bad, I think. See, obviously this is fairly... It's not exactly... Could use some tweaking <laughs> over here. Um, also something else that you see here is uh, chain move only, it takes into account the original length of the chain. As say the chain, when it's in this position, if you apply cloth effects to something you can easily make the length of the object uh, greater. I'm sure there's a way you can make the length not um, exceed that of the original chain and obviously when the dynamic object starts to push things around it really starts to stretch the polygons and you get that there. But the good thing is all the, all the individual links actually follow the uh, the chain and they still all line up nicely in the in the teeth of the cog. So there you go. Dynamic chain uh chains and I think I'm gonna go and make some tank treads now and stuff like that. So